Hi, this is Preacher Tom, Speech America Homeless Outreach Ministry. And I'm fixing to go into Beaufort City, out towards the Port Royal area. And um, I've had a phone call. And uh, I had two phone calls, as a matter of fact. I had a call from a gentleman who's in a position that he's, uh, he's homeless now. He needs a tent, and he needs a sleeping bag, and some other things. And he needs a place to even set the tent up. So this is a this is a dilemma that he has gotten himself into, not voluntarily, but if I get a chance, I'll see see if maybe he'll tell you what happened. And I got a call from his sister also validating the fact is he's here, he's homeless, and he needs help. So let's go out to Beaufort City. Let's go out and see him. I'm not going to tell you his name. I'm going to ask him if he would like to say something to the churches and to you that are uh, listening on how it is and how it can happen in just a few seconds and just one phone call. You can be homeless. You ever thought about that? Those folks in Texas and places that got flooded, within just a few moments, they went from having to not having. So please go with us out to Port Royal. Let's go talk to this gentleman. Let's see how we can help him. And you can do it. You can help. So we need donations of sleeping bags, and we need donations of tents. I'm fixing to have to go to Walmart now, Walmart now, and and, uh, and buy a tent. I've got one sleeping bag left, but I'm fixing to have to go get a tent. And I don't know what the cost is, but it doesn't matter. He needs it. And where he's going to stay, I have no idea. But you pray, because, like I said, everyone's just one paycheck, one phone call away from homelessness. Homelessness is not a joke. You may enjoy it for a day or two, or maybe in a week or a month. You might even get a kick out of it for a year. But to look down the long road on this thing, it's not fun. So come on, go with us, and let's see how we can help. First of all, I want to thank Brother Tom. Thank you, Brother Tom, for these gifts. They are beyond invaluable to me. And I'll tell you, brother, a lot of times people mistake that all homelessness people want that or desire that or choose to do that. Um, I fell back in 2010 and I broke my neck, my back. I'm bone on bone in both shoulders. Got a tremendous amount of medical issues. Uh, been turned down for disability, reapplying. After the time I got my medical bills paid, the attorney paid, uh, and what I was past due on paying, I was left with nothing. I'm educated, I'm a hard worker, always have been, but now I'm in a position that I can't work. Uh, I'm reapplying for disability, and I never thought in a million years I would be homeless, brother, but um, I am, and uh, it come upon me suddenly and without warning, um, and it's once you're in it, it's very hard to get out of it, especially if you don't have people helping you. And I would just ask everybody to realize that homeless people are someone's child, uh, they're a child of God, and that you should love them as you would love yourself. And uh, Brother Tom does an outstanding thing, and I would ask you to support his ministry fully. God bless you and thank you. Hi, uh, this is Preacher Tom Anderson, and you just heard from Nathan Watkins. And uh, I let him say uh, what he needed to say. Asked him if he'd like to say something to the churches about, uh, and to the people, about his situation and how he got there. And uh, we don't ask for the situations we get into, um, they happen, and they, there's really nothing we can do about it, just pray. And uh, Nathan's a Christian, and it happens to Christians. You say, oh, well, the Lord will never let me go begging bread. And you know what? Get proud. You get proud. You better understand something and see what God does. Nobody asks for homelessness. Nobody asks for being poor. Nobody asks for those things. That's not something we get born and get raised to uh, be in a place to say, wow, man, when I get big, I want to just be poor and homeless. That ain't the way it works, but it happens. So pray for it, homeless. Um, I gave him a tent and gave him a sleeping bag, brand new, and uh, gave him a poncho. And so whatever else he needs, I told him, just let me know. And uh, I'll check on him in a couple days and see where he's at as far as uh, what he needs. And anyway, pray for Nathan. Uh, he's out there. And um, he said he's a hunter. Not just a Christian, but he's a hunter, so he can take the woods. But he's also got a lot of injuries and stuff.
stuff too to his body, which his arthritis will take in. And so it'll be uncomfortable. I don't care who you are. You can only stay in the woods for so long. And then it gets boring. So we always pray for him. Now, this is Brother Tom Anderson, Streets of America Homeless Outreach Ministry. And what I'm asking you right now is, could you donate some tents? I spent $25 for a tent down at Walmart. For $100, you can get four tents. That's not bad. And they're good one-man tents. And uh, I can even look online and maybe find some cheaper somewhere else and maybe get five or six. Just depends on where I get them. But Walmart has them. They're $24.95 or something like that. You know, time you had taxes, 25 bucks or so. So, anyways, donate some tents, please. And sleeping bags. Uh, our homeless need them. You can bring them a blanket, but the blanket's only going to last so long. The sleeping bag will do them a real good job. So, anyways, see what you can do to help. It's going to be a blessing. So, thank you.